So the McKnight Foundation was founded over 60 years ago, and the arts program was actually one of the first formal program areas established. And I think it was in part, there's a working artist who was part of the family, but also just a strong commitment throughout. This is a family that's been deeply philanthropic in the community and saw, I think from very early on, the power of the arts to bring vibrancy to the community. And what I love about their commitment was, right from the start, it was not only about the arts and arts organizations, but a strong commitment to individual artists, the people who actually make the art. So for more than 30 years, the McKnight Artist Fellowships Program has provided unrestricted support for artists. Um, across art forms, across cultures and communities, and across the state of Minnesota. In terms of the really deep, enduring support, I feel that that does come from our family's, you know, more personal connection to an artist. And, um, you know, I don't think my mom, it was an, an agenda that she would have pushed on her own. It was something that um, everyone around the board table wanted to be involved in. So the value of the fellowship, I mean, I hear so often from the writers that this fellowship changes their life, you know? Um, there's just not a lot of opportunities like this that are, are so trusting and so understanding of what writers need, right? That it's it's not necessarily about um, jumping through these hoops. It's, it's basically money for time. Definitely uh, the, the grant money allowed me to uh, take time off about six or seven months and work totally on a body of work for the upcoming gallery show that would be part of my contribution to the community in the sense. Not only in time or the amount of work that I put out, but in consciousness. Because if I, if I can spend like a, a week, just 24 hours seven, thinking about my art, there's a depth that I can get to that I can't when I'm trying to squeeze it in one night a week here, one night a week there. I think one says a lot about how we value artists and how we want them to be able to have those opportunities to experience something new, to develop their craft, to perform a new work. All of those things I think are an incredibly important part of it, but we also provide grant making support for the entire ecosystem, the organizations that support across different disciplines. So the program really is a partnership between the McKnight Foundation and eight discipline specific artist service organizations the American Composers Forum, the Cole Center for Dance, IFP Minnesota, the Loft Literary Center, McPhail Center for Music, Minneapolis College of Art and Design, Northern Clay Center, and the Playwright Center. There are artists who, by the quality of their work, repeatedly demonstrate their value to their communities, whether that's the arts community or their local communities, who deserve not just to have another work bought, but who deserve an investment and who deserve our ability to stand back and say, we want to invest in you. We want to invest in your life. We want to invest in your ability to do more than just another work, but your ability to be renewed and have a life of some sort of dignity and to be able to just move forward. And project grants for all their merits don't help you in that way. You know, when I heard about the Knight Fellowships, I thought really that's what the difference is the McKnight Fellowships. Rather than being buying an artwork, this is a way of investing in artists and by extension, investing in their communities precisely by giving them this kind of unrestricted, more flexible funding. These partnerships really are a symbiotic relationship between the artists, the artist service organizations, and the McKnight Foundation that embodies the transformative possibilities of this type of investment in the arts ecosystem. A mid-career artist really knows well how he or she might need support and what they might do with that. And there are all kinds of things that you could never get grant funding to support that are important to an artist. That experience had already got me thinking about, you know, how would you use this, this 
money and this time and the feedback from the, you know, there's a kind of critical dialogue and discourse that goes along with the experience. You get access to these, um, you know, sort of world-renowned, you know, critics and artists. And um, you also get access to the other artists, you know, who are in the, the program. You know, I was able to break out of my, my usual haunts, the usual people that I surround myself with who are all wonderful and have been wonderful collaborators for decades. But then I started to hear some fantastic things coming from really young players that I am completely in awe of and I'm inspired to connect with. You know, life itself is transformative. Old people used to say, do something. <laughs> And, and they, they, just, they just, it wasn't just a random thing. It was to do something that was positive. The fellowships are an investment in the artistic and professional development of the artists that we support. And uh, as such, we're really supporting their role as entrepreneurs and as culture makers. And it's an enactment of our belief that Minnesota thrives when its artists thrive.